I'm a guy where whoever whoever's on the court, I'm going to go at them. Um, if it's my teammates, it could be my mom on the court. <laughs> uh, she's she's going to get killed. So, um, I could care less about. Um, for me, um, I'm just trying to build that mentality where I don't care who's out there. I'm gonna play the same way. Apologize to your mother now or later? Oh no, she know it ain't no apology. She gonna get you. She probably do, man. <laughs> She's gonna be mad, man. She's watching news all the time. Derrick Rose is an assassin, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody is safe when playing him, including his mom. You heard him say it right there. Stephen A., uh, what's your reaction to this? He was clearly playing, but that don't mean he's not in trouble. He's a mama's <laughs> boy. He loves his mama. If you saw him when he won the league MVP award, uh, uh, when he obviously dedicated so much to her. She was in the audience crying. It was a beautiful scene. He knows uh, she's everything to him. He was. He didn't. He should not have thrown her in that sentence because his home cooking might get messed with because of that. Yeah, but you don't want to get on mama's bad. So. Yeah, but in terms of his mentality coming into the game. What's that? What do you think that shows? He's always had that. He's he, he's always had that mentality. It's really all about how healthy is it, he is. If Derrick Rose is healthy, he's going to do his thing. If he's not, he's not. But if he is healthy, Derrick Rose is a superstar, plain and simple. You know what's funny, Stephen A., the irony of this quote is, and you're right, I know he loves his mom. He didn't mean it that way. But the irony is this whole notion is what I don't love about Derrick Rose's game. I've told you before, he has that mentality of get out of my way, I'm going to the hoop. No matter the circumstance, no matter the score, no matter hot teammate on one wing, hot teammate on the other wing, he is going to run through that brick wall of four defenders camped across the lane. It's just the way he is and I, I admire the the intestinal fortitude of it. I love it that in his city that he grew up in, the city of broad shoulders, that he wants to have the broader shoulders and take the bulls on his shoulders to the promised land. But I still don't think he's much of a point guard. And because he brings the ball up the court, they get two D rows heavy in that offense at the expense of a dang or whoever else has got the hot hand that night. And I, I think they're more easily defended that way. And that, that's not what I want to hear him talk about. I want to hear him talk about better vision, better all-around court awareness, higher basketball IQ as he grows into NBA superstardom. I, that's not what I want to hear, especially with him coming off a whole year away after his knee surgery. I want to hear the aggression because I think that's the first thing you have to overcome. The other things are just fine-tuning basketball skills, which as a professional you're always trying to do. But if you've, coming off, if you've come off the ugly knee injury that he suffered, that forced you to miss an entire year of your career, the number one thing you need to work on is redeveloping the assassin's mentality that you once had and being in attack mode and not being afraid or shy about being in attack mode. The other things will come easily once he does that. This is the biggest obstacle, really redeveloping that mentality. Mm. So I disagree with you there. I like the path he's taking. I agree that, obviously, he had psychological um, roadblocks in the back of his psyche last year because a lot of people thought he was healthy enough to play and be ready for the playoffs. And he couldn't quite get comfortable. I get that part of it. I'm just saying that I think you have leaped to a conclusion that you, you think the Bulls are... You're going to give him a real shot, right, against the Heat with with Derek back at the point? I get, uh, no, I'm saying to you they got a real shot because Tom Thibodeau is an exceptional defensive coach and Derek Rose is Derek Rose. Mike Dunleavy Jr. will have to really pick up a low. We'll see. I don't know if they still have the personnel necessary. I think they can challenge, but I give Indiana a better shot than I give Chicago right now and Brooklyn. Right. Okay. I'm just not sure they're going to be – a quantum leap better with Derrick Rose back running the point and shooting often from the point. It's a little bit of the Russell Westbrook syndrome, except in Chicago. We'll get to That's see D. Rose at the point in less than 30 days when the NBA season kicks off. But right now, it's time for our quick takes.